to run a successful kidney pair donation program, what is required is initially the back, the backup of the system on all ends, surgical, medicine, administrative, nursing, OR, all, the histocompatibility lab, the, H, the blood bank, all ends have to then put in extra over and above what you're already doing. When you first start this, you have to show you're going to be able to do it. So you don't necessarily have initially the resources that you need to, so each person stretches themselves. So you have to have the bandwidth to be able to do that. Then you have to be able to have the volume of patients as a single center. There are not many single center around the country that do kidney pair donation. Most of them do it with other centers. We're probably one of two or three in the country that just does it as a single center. And to be able to do it as a single center, you need enough patient volume. So we have to have about 40 to 15 compatible pairs to start having good matches show up to be able to then get creative and do these transplants. Um, so UAB being the volume center that it has, we have 3,500 patients waiting on the list and we have about 1,000 phone calls a year for potential living donors. I want to give a kidney to X. So out of those 1,000, we eventually get down to about 150 to 200 transplants. And we, you know, a lot of them are, we are sort of medically not suitable or they're not compatible. So it, the not compatible, 35 to 40 percent, is where we get our patient population from. So it's resources, it's somebody who's passionate about this, it's somebody who's willing to put the time into it, it's having the patient population. And the other thing which is not quite a, uh, it's impetus actually for you to want to have a program like this is being in the state of Alabama, being the patient population that we have, our patients don't have the resources to travel. So even if we participated in a paired donation program, between resources, and some inherent um, trust factors, perhaps. The idea of just going away to some other place, being separated from your recipient, or even allowing for you to have your surgery here and your kidney getting shipped off, just like we ship the deceased donor kidneys, it's something that's harder to get going in the beginning. And that actually proved another impetus for us to want to do a single center peritonation. UAB has always been a place to come for kidney transplantation. So our outcomes for deceased donor and living donor transplants for one in three years are next to none. We've always been one of the oldest and one of the larger centers in the country for many, many years. Um, so we have that reputation already. And uh, over the years, despite us doing as good a job as an institution as we are with kidney donation, we still have a large number of patients that we're not able to transplant. And we all, everybody who's involved in this keenly feels that we have to do something to increase the rate of transplantation.